going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do what is in my camera bag. So I actually have uh, two camera bags. I need to definitely put them together and make them one system that's in a hard case and very, very refined. But you're seeing literally the raw, the dirty. I've been traveling for four months. This is everything in the two camera bags. So while I was traveling, I just brought this one here, the smaller one on the red, on the left. Uh, just because the form factor was so small. In that camera bag, I had the Canon R. Um, I had it dialed down to a really reduced setup. I didn't have the top handle and the side handle while I was traveling just because it was a little too much when I was uh, running and gunning. But in here, I have a road shotgun mic that I've had forever and it's been so far so good. So I have a seven inch monitor. I have, you need, you need HDMI full size to micro, Allen keys. I have a top handle by small rig monitor mount. Business cards, which is good. Always keep those in them if you have them. Air tag in here, which has been saving me while I was traveling. I have an extra um, peak design little anchor, a little waterproof bag because there was a ton of boat trips and honestly this saved my life so many times. And it was also kind of a nice topper to the bag when I was finished. Uh, putting everything away, I would do that just so it kind of looks a little more stored and you can't really tell there's a camera in there right away. Um, just some more loose accessories. This is by Peak Design. It goes on the bottom of the camera for the, the straps. Uh, small rig multi-tool. Yeah, just accessories, cotton camera. This is like a handle you can attach to the camera. And then another step up filters. And I have a Sharpie in here that I always keep a Sharpie on my bag somewhere. That's that for camera bag number one. Super small, this is my traveling bag. You can easily fit a body and a lens in there. You can um, fit a body in there, Matt? Yeah, a full size, Yay. full size body. Yeah, I'm super happy with that bag. It's been super easy to use. It was a little bit smaller. I couldn't have bought, brought a second lens. In my second camera bag, this is my, was my main camera bag forever. I have my 7D Mark II with the 18 to 35 1.8. Just a little soft bag just to kind of cover the back of the camera just in case it falls. Swivel arm, another swivel arm component. This needs to have a better setup for because this is ridiculous. These are bags that I bought traveling for laundry. <laughs> In these bags, I just have all my like super miscellaneous stuff, all my hardware, my plates stuff like that. There's like a ton of shit in here. I don't know if I want to take it all out. And then in this bag, I just have like some more super random stuff like plates and more monitor mounts. I have the Ronin lens holder thing, peak design strap in there. And then this is nice just cause you can kind of fold it up, but I want to get a little hard case for all of this shit here because it's just like, I'm sifting through it all the time. Then I have my peak design shoulder strap which is honestly this is like my favorite strap i've ever purchased ever peak design please send us one because we want to do a viral video um i'm trying to see what it takes to steal this camera if you had it kind of around your body like this like strapped up how hard would you have to pull it for the anchors to break um, i'm sure they have an answer but i think it'd be a funny video let us know if you want to see that i have some more hdmi components for monitors uh, I have this bag that covers the bag when it's raining, which is honestly, if you don't have one, I would really recommend getting one. It fits really snug over the bag. Yeah, fully contained. It's gonna get you through the pinch um, if it starts pouring rain suddenly. And I've used it just as a literal camera cover while it's shooting. Like if it's just misting, I'll just uh, literally stick it over my camera, just enough so it's not getting soaked. Couple lens hoods. Um, for a lens that I don't even have anymore, so I'll have to get rid of this. <laughs> it's for an 85 that I just sold before I went traveling. Uh, another little camera accessory is my cotton camera. So this fits on a camera, sorry, this fits on a backpack. And then you have a little piece that goes on your bag, so then you can hike with the camera, and then the camera sits like this. Super handy. Uh, I did a hike in New Zealand that was about 20k with this, and it really saved my life because I wasn't having to kind of sway with the camera. The camera was just set set in stone all day and it was really, really nice. Um, just a random bag. I could probably throw all this stuff in this little bag here. I have a another variable ND. This is like a little generic, like little light. Diffusion filter? Yeah, a little diffusion filter. It's just one, just an orange one. I never use it. It's just like, I don't know why it's in there. And then this is the 
Um, oh my god, I'm blanking on the word. Adapter. <laughs> yeah, this is the adapter for um, when you're doing R to EF mount. Cleaning stuff on this side. So this is my little like, just I keep everything in here. Um, I should organize this better with these little bags for sure. In the top, I have another ND. This is the one that I use all the time. It's 82, it's a variable ND, it's pretty nice. Some more audio cables. I have a nine volt battery for the Rode mic. I keep these as well all the time, uh, just because they're super handy if you wanna give them to a client, you wanna give them to your friend to edit. My CFast and SD reader that I keep in here all the time. Business cards, some stickers, a manual because I don't know what I'm doing. But true that, man. True that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff serves a purpose. I try to go through my camera bag once a year just to make sure that everything in here is still needs to be in here. Uh, this is really accessory heavy, so I could definitely dial back that. I have an extra lens at home that I could uh, include in here, but I want to eventually get a hard case for everything, so everything just fits super nice. It is not a mess like this, but that's uh, the real raw life of an unsponsored camera bag person, owner, who just has shit and just, this is the way I do shit. But. Definitely uh, send some suggestions in the comments if you guys have any uh, have any things that you've been shooting with over the years that have saved you on gigs. Um, anything that you want to see from us, and any accessories that you think would be good, like any bags, hard cases. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and keep your eye out for Troy's version. We're going to do that soon.